Hello everybody. Welcome to iExambi's Legal Bee. This is Amrita, your law faculty here at iExambi. In today's video, we are going to discuss another question discuss karne wale hai. that is going to be a descriptive answer question relevant for CB Grade A Legal Officer Examination. I have started this series start kiya hai exclusively for the Phase 2 exam preparation for CB Grade A Legal Officer, which is going to conduct soon. For this, there are a lot of descriptive section ke liye kafi sare students ko queries bhi aate rehte hai. So this series is definitely going to be very helpful for you all. As also, I am going to discuss sample answer points in all these videos. You can download PPTs ko bhi sakte hai and get different answers with you, different important questions with you. In sab ko aap practice bhi kar sakte hai. Agar aapke koi bhi queries hai, you can reach out to us directly in the comment section of this video. You can also email us on hello at or call on 920 And yes, don't forget to subscribe to Legal Bee and stay updated with all such kind of beneficial videos at iExambi's Legal Bee. So this series, how to ace the descriptive section. इस सीरीज में सबसे पहला वीडियो मैंने यही बनाया था एक जनरल टिप्स के बारे में कि डिस्क्रिप्टिव सेक्शन को आपको टैकल करना कैसे है कैसे प्रिपेयर करना है एंड किस तरीके से आंसर्स लिखने हैं अगर आपने बाकी के वीडियोस मिस कर दिए हैं आई वुड सजेस्ट यू ऑल टू गो एंड चेक इट इन द प्लेलिस्ट एंड गो थ्रू ऑल द वीडियोस द रिमेनिंग वीडियोस एज वेल सेबी ग्रेड ए लीगल ऑफिसर फेस 2 एग्जामिनेशन के लिए है ये स्पेसिफिकली इसका पैटर्न जो कि अभी-अभी चेंज हुआ है इस साल सेबी का पहले डिस्क्रिप्टिव सेक्शन नहीं था बट अब 70 एमसीक्यूज के साथ थ्री डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चंस जो कि 10 मार्क्स ईच रहने वाले हैं दैट हैज बीन एडेड इन योर पेपर टू सिलेबस एंड इफ यू कैन सी द सिलेबस इज क्रिमिनल लॉ आईपीसी सीआरपीसी एविडेंस इज देयर कॉर्पोरेट लॉ इज देयर कॉर्पोरेट लॉ यू हैव कंपनीज एक्ट एलएलपी एंड आईबीसी एंड इन सिक्योरिटीज लॉ एज यू कैन सी एक्ट एंड आल्सो रेगुलेशंस हैव बीन एडेड सो एसिंग द डिस्क्रिप्टिव सेक्शन with such a vast syllabus is actually a task. So how you are going to focus on the descriptive section? In this video, I am going to discuss a topic from the Limited Liability Partnership Act. And in the remaining videos, you can check out various topics I have covered from evidence, from CRPC, IPC, etc. So the question is, what are the rights and duties of partners in an LLP? This, this question is actually very easy and it looks a very common question. But descriptive section, me, ye question pushne ka kya matlab ho sakta hai? It is very uh, general kind of a question and here the student's actual skill will be understood by the examiner. How? How he starts the answer? Does he give a brief introduction about the answer? Does he mention the Typical points which are expected in that question. ये एक बात हमेशा ध्यान में रखिएगा कि examiner को एक framework होता है दिमाग में even if वो descriptive question है तो भी अगर आपके पास उससे related एक relevant point है जो definitely उस topic से directly relate करता है तो आपने वो point को answer में जरूर mention करना है so that the, answer, the examiner is able to make it out by reading that one point also that you are having a good knowledge of law and also you have very uh, systematically expressed this so systematically writing an answer is also very important to me so rights and partners in an LLP kya kya ho sakta hai why is this so important question because in LLP in limited liability partnership Specifically, the relations of the partners are different as compared to what we have in a partnership form. And this starts just because we have limited liability. This is the main reason. So you can start your answer with the introduction. And in LLP, one partner is not responsible or liable for another's misconduct or negligence. You have to clear the first thing clear. The main punchline of your answer try to include that in the introduction itself. So that the examiner is is very clear that you are having clarity on the question and your answer is also going to be worth reading. And an important difference from an unlimited partnership that is the regular partnership in LLP is that the liability becomes limited. If the liability becomes limited, automatically their limitation of liability will affect on their relations also on their rights also and also on their duties in the partnership. In a partnership firm, there is unlimited liability. So their rights and duties are different. 
but in case of llp it is different we have the designated partner concept also over here we have so many concepts which are there exclusively in llp mutual rights and duties of partners in an llp directly coming to the area now after giving a brief introduction what are the duties of the partners partners are obliged to carry on or commence or the commerce of llp towards the common benefit fair and faithful towards each other ye ek general duty hai ye actually common logic par based hai partnership mein bhi aapko ye bhi duty milegi that they are going to act in faithful towards each other all the partners and they will be rendering the true accounts to each other duty towards indemnifying for fraud this is an important point over here because even if your liability is limited in an llp you cannot do a fraud which is much more than your liability and then stay away from that by saying that my liability is not limited is not unlimited it is limited by you will be bearing the indemnification of the fraud that has been committed by you every partner of llp is required to indemnify the llp from any losses that are caused to it by fraud in conduct of business of the firm so this is one aspect that we have covered there are various such areas llp is requisite to indemnify the llp for any losses that were caused to it through a fraud inside the conduct of business of the corporation also remember each partner is going to indemnify the llp agar llp koi loss bear kar raha hai because of the conduct of the business llp is having its own identity i hope everybody knows this this is what is a company like feature which limited liability partnership is having it's having its own identity and because of that it is also having its own fund it is also having its own existence that is the legal existence so agar llp ke upar koi liability aati hai at that time what will be the situation if it is due to a fraud which is conducted inside the business of llp then the partners will also automatically become liable for that so ye question dikhta easy hai lekin ye jo kuch technical points hai yahan pe you have to remember all these points that when the llp uh, will be having its sole liability and when the partners can have their liability in spite of not having any particular uh, liability for that but if they have committed fraud or any fraud has been generally taken place in the conduct of business of the corporation rights of the partners each partner has a right to participate in conduct of business of llp very general right each partner is obliged to attend diligently their responsibilities in conduct of business of llp any difference that arises between because of the ordinary matters that are related to business that might be decided through a majority of matters yani ki koi bhi agar dispute arise hota hai so aapka matter kaise decide hoga that will be through a majority of the partners and every partner is required to have the right to express their views prior to the matter is decided so this kind of democratic concept you will find in the working of a llp that's why the llp concept is quite successful nowadays each partner is having a right to have access as well as inspection and copying the books of account of the llp also it should not be kept silent or mum nobody uh, should have an idea that this is not known to them aisa nahi hona chahiye everybody should have access to the inspections to the case diaries to the diaries whatever are there relating to the affairs of the llp especially so they all should have transparency in it and when a partner dies what will happen this is also important point the heirs or legal representatives would have the right to access inspect as well as copy and also they can choose to or elect to continue as partners in that particular case even if they are legal heirs or legal representatives then also they will be choosing that they wants to continue uh, they wants to have access and they want to inspect the copy or books of accounts one more important point you can add over here why you will be acting it over here adding it over here because the partner is an agent of llp but not of other partners this is an important topic of agency that we have in partnership firm related also and also in llp you are having that but what is the important thing here that partner is an llg uh, is an agent of llp but not of other partners क्योंकि बाकी के पार्टनर्स से कोरिलेशन नहीं आएगा लाइबिलिटी लिमिट हो जाती है सो दिस इज ऑटोमेटिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिलेशन ऑफ द पार्टनर्स विद द 
अदर पार्टनर्स दे आर एजेंट ओनली ऑफ एल एल पी एंड नॉट ऑफ अदर पार्टनर्स ये आपने पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में क्या पढ़ा था आई वुड सजेस्ट यू ऑल टू गो थ्रू एंड चेक इट आउट एंड उसको भी आप डिस्टिंग्विश करते हुए यहाँ पे एक स्मॉल पॉइंट में लिख सकते हैं दैट इन केस ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म पार्टनर इज एन एजेंट ऑफ फर्म एज वेल एज अदर पार्टनर्स बट इन केस ऑफ एल एल पी इट इज नॉट सो सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ लिमिटेड लाइब्रेटी पार्टनरशिप एक्ट टू specifically talks about this provision every partner of llp is for the purpose of business of llp this is important only for the purpose of business of llp he is an agent of llp and not of other partners this is not possible in an llp so this is again a key point agar aap ye point add karte ho examiner will be impressed that you are having good knowledge and also to the point knowledge means what is actually asked in the question and you are able to reproduce that the only thing is that you should be going in systematic manner sometimes students have content but they are not able to express themselves well they are not able to articulate the sentences they are not able to decide that which point has to be mentioned first which afterwards always remember try to go on in the form of a series in the, in the form of a storytelling kind of approach and that you can adopt along with the formality in your answers also if you are having a flow in your answers definitely you will be scoring well in the examination if you have any queries you can reach out to us directly in the comment section of this video or by any of the mentioned modes over here don't forget to subscribe legal bee and prepare 50% faster with us at i exam bee thank you everybody have a good day